Welcome back, everybody. Back in the kitchen with Chef Ken Hall, and it's time for dessert. And this is one of those desserts you, you may see out at a restaurant and pay big bucks for, but you can make it at home. I'm excited about this. Tell me what we're making. We're making cream puffs. Ooh. Um, Everybody always, there's that allure to, to cream puffs oh, yeah, that you I have know. to be a fancy chef to make yeah. them. And it is the simplest. Really? And all the ingredients you have in your kitchen. Love it. Okay. So it's not going to cost you absolutely anything at all to make this dessert. It's just a matter of time. And most of the time is in the oven when they're baking. And you know what? On the weekends, it's sometimes, you know, when the kids are craving dessert and, um, you know, that's when you have the time anyway and just pull that stuff well, out. And, and this is something that the kids can make with your supervision. Love it. So okay. they don't, you don't even have to do it. They can do it. Well, I, I'm all about that, getting those kids in the kitchen. Okay. Right. So first thing we're going to do is just take a normal size sauce pot. Okay. We're going to add one cup of water. Do you want to uh, turn it up, turn yep. up the heat? Okay. Yep. Turn okay. it up. Okay. And to boil. And we're put three tablespoons of butter. Okay. We're going to take just a pinch of salt, and we're going to let that be. That's going to come up to a boil. Okay. Once that comes up to a boil, or just starts to get warm, then we'll stir in one cup of flour. Okay. And then we'll transfer it over to the mixer, and we'll put in the eggs. Okay. Now, um, one way that you can feel better about yourself when you do this, this is typically a very heavy egg dish. Mm -hmm. Um, so what I've done is I've cut the eggs back to egg whites okay. and whole eggs. Okay. Um, so you're not going to get as crispy of a shell, but when it comes to having a nice sweet treat, it's okay. And you know, Ken and I were just talking about that. Nowadays, there's so many little things that you can do from just the products that you use in the grocery store. For instance, we used whole wheat pasta. Um, just little things, um, less fat ice cream that still tastes fantastic. You won't even know the difference, but they can make a big difference in the long run, these little changes. Absolutely. So instead, basically, uh, the normal recipe would use what? All egg yolks? Would use five whole eggs. Five whole eggs. So, it, so what I did was I put three whites, well, I put three yolks and then two extra whites in there. Perfect. So you've got... You still have the, the protein from the egg yolk, which will help it bind and give it color when it poofs, but also the egg whites, and then it just brings down that cholesterol a little sure, bit. Sure, sure, which is really a, a nice. Okay, so okay, so this butter is ready. And, and water. So what the trick is, is you want to kind of stir your flour in. It's all-purpose flour, the regular? Just stuff? regular, okay. old, all-purpose flour, and it's going to kind of come together into a mass, and you're going to say, what is this? And you just got to keep stirring. Okay. And it'll start to dry out, and you know that you've got the right mixture when it starts to dry on the bottom of the okay. pan and pull away from the sides. So now what we want to do is we just want to stir it for about a minute or so while we cook it, just to kind of help cook that flour out a little bit. That taste, that you don't want that yeah, flour taste. You don't taste. want that flour taste in okay. there. But it almost looks like homemade Play-Doh. That's what I was going to say. Did you ever yeah. used to make homemade Play-Doh? I never did, but it, 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 yeah, that's definitely it's, what it looks it's, like. This is exactly the same consistency. So it's pretty firm. Right. It, it'll, it'll firm up. It'll be almost, it has kind of like a jelly feel as you're, as you're stirring it. Okay. So we're just going to stir this until it all comes together. You got a nice ball. Then what we're going to do is we're going to transfer this to a mixer. Okay. And then this is where you use your stand mixer, and you want to use a paddle attachment so that it can incorporate the eggs. So then what, what I found is you spin it just for a second to kind of let some of that initial steam off. And then with it running, you add just a little bit at a time. Because if you add too much, it'll separate and it'll just it'll it'll um, break down too much and then it won't come back together so you want to do just a little bit at a time and we'll put that up one more speed and you can see where it's starting to come back together we're going to add one more and this is um, again this will make a nice batch so if you want to do little ones you can do 30 little ones okay if you want to do big ones you can do you know 10 big ones sure. so it makes enough that you can freeze the the cream puffs and then fill them with whatever you want. Okay. You know, this would even be a nice little thing to do for, for mom. Um, just a surprise, a treat, yeah. you know. The dad, say, yeah. and, dad and the kids kind of yeah. pull these out of the freezer. And then let's say you do some strawberry ice cream mm. in there with some chocolate mm. sauce. And, and just do little things. And you can kind of see how this comes together now. And all we want to do is we want to spin this for about 30 seconds. Okay. And that's all it takes. And now then the batter you, is done. How do you form them? 
that we're just going to do now the the pastry shops that do them they use a pastry bag okay. and they pipe them out okay but i don't have the time to do that when it's you know a sunday afternoon or a saturday afternoon sure. and if you want the kids to do it that's that becomes a hassle for sure. them so what i do is i just use a spoon and we've got parchment paper lined our baking sheet yep and you do not have to spray the parchment paper okay just because these will puff with the amount of eggs in there and typically what i'll do is i'll hold the corner down when i put it on there because it's kind of sticky so it'll bring that parchment up kind of be messy a little bit. And, and we're making just, big ones, but again, you yep. could do little ones. Right. Just depends on how... So you know. just, you want to separate them out about an inch or two okay. on your paper. Okay. And kind of bring them back together. And then when you put these in the oven... Oven temperature? Four and a quarter. Oh, so nice and hot. Nice and hot. And what you want to do is you want to do 10 minutes at four and a quarter. Okay. Then turn it down to 350 and leave it for 20 minutes to kind of dry out the inside. Okay. And then what we'll do is I've got the oven on. We'll pop these in the oven. They're beautiful. And I got some bigger ones in here mm. that we uh, made earlier, and they just come right off of the sheet, Gorgeous. so you don't have to worry about it. All right, we're going to have you put these together quickly. We're about out of time, so just cut them in half. Cut them in half. And we're going to fill them. We're going to fill them with ice cream. Ooh. And a little bit of chocolate sauce, I'm hoping. A little bit of fudge. All right, I'm going to get the fudge from mint. the microwave. All right, we'll be right back to show you how this all comes together. Uh, so stay with us.